this is the kit that I will be taking for the journey across the United States. Um, this kit will not have any type of um, camping gear or cooking gear. Um, this is more a, of a lightweight touring gear um, just for uh, to go light and travel far. Um, so shoes that I'm going to be wearing um, off the bike. Um, a repair kit for tires and any type of miscellane miscellaneous repairs. A little lightweight tube just in case, but I am currently running tubeless, so hopefully I won't need to use that at all. Um, some secret uh, chain lube. Uh, this one here does have my um, personal hygiene toothbrush toothpaste, basically. Um, Toolkit for the bike. Very lightweight Gore-Tex jacket. Um, spare set of tubeless tires that I'm actually going to be using um, in about a thousand miles. I'm going to replace my current tires and then um, because they still have a little bit more life left on them. Um, shorts that I'm going to wear in off the bike. Shirt for off the bike as well. Um, this kit here does contain um, charger, cables, um, small electronics basically. Bike light. Uh, this is fuel for me to kind of keep me going between um, stops when we actually stop for like fast food or you know little restaurant stops and stuff like that um and sanitizer you need that especially even this time when viruses around um tire plug um a tire pump heart rate monitor sunscreen um jersey that i'm going to be wearing and shorts these are cycling specific, so they're actually be able to be washed and dry overnight. Um, helmet, sunglasses, gloves, socks, and cycling specific shoes. Um, so everything will be going inside the tail fin. And um, so actually, tell everyone you can see inside there. That's about 20 liters. Or 25 or something like that so this right here actually is um it's a pretty good stuff here um it's designed for you know to pretty much give you that extra energy that you might need to keep you going um i have tried this out and it's pretty amazing um it's actually very very clean it's healthy and yeah it works pretty well highly recommend it all right, since I've been getting a couple of question, um, requests about the uh, the bike and stuff like that, I just decided to make this uh, quick video here um, showing my bike setup. Uh, so this bike here, um, this one is my newer bike. Um, I think I've had it for uh, 2000, I think I had it a little bit over a year now. Um, but anyways, it's a... Uh, it's made by Canon. It's a German brand. It's a it's the ultimate. So um, it's uh, not the aero version, um, but it is the more of the um, all around climbing version. Um, it's lightweight, all carbon fiber. It's a pu um, premium bike. Um, kind of a um, pretty good quality bike. Um, high end bike actually. Um, so I am running uh, carbon fiber rims as well, um, zip NSWs. Um, I am. These are the new uh, Swabby Pro ones that I've actually swapped out for my um, Grand Prix GP uh, five thousand TL tubeless tires um, in Mo Missoula, Montana. Um, just because those are getting a little worn on those, and actually I put uh, thirty one hundred miles on those just during my. Um, just regular for my hobby of cycling and stuff like that plus the additional miles of this uh, trip um, so I am running the uh, the Wahoo element um, use this for GPS tracking and also navigation uh, front light um, so this bike does have some aerodynamic advantages to it um, so which is nice you know it does 
come in handy at a little bit higher speeds. Um, so it is a road bike, but with this uh, tail fin rack system here, um, it's actually becomes a almost a lightweight touring bike. Um, so this is what I've been using and it's actually uh, worked very, very well. Um, it's actually very stable. It works really good actually. Um, it is carbon fiber. The um, pack system is uh, waterproof. Um, it holds about 20 liters. For future trips, I have uh, the frame bag, which is gonna go um, pretty much here to here inside this little area here. Um, so that I will use to um, for additional supplies. Um, obviously, this is more for trips that's gonna be outside of the United States, obviously. Um, and in the front here, I would be running a um, handlebar bag as well that would probably hold light stuff like sleeping bag, uh, tarp, um, stuff like that. Uh, what else? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the bike there. And uh, that's the current setup right now just for light touring in the United States.